Good morning. I'm doing a review of the first, the basics of signed numbers. So to review what we talked about in class, every number has a sign. Um, this is just five, even though it doesn't have anything in front of it. That doesn't mean it doesn't have a sign. Any number that has nothing in front of it is automatically positive. We can also have a negative five. A positive five on a number line, I'm drawing two number lines here, zero, On a, a number line that goes up and down, a vertical number line, positive is at the top, negative is at the bottom. Positive goes up, negative goes down. On a number line that's horizontal, positive is usually to the right, positive goes this way, and negative goes this way. So here are my numbers five and negative five, and I've got them out four times. I'm gonna combine them with another number. Let's go with 16. So I could have 16 positive, or I could have 16 negative. And remember, I'm asking you to change how you're thinking about the numbers. If I have, a, every number has a sign and we don't say five plus 16 in our head, we're looking at a positive five combined with a positive 16. So I have a positive five, it goes up like this. If I have a positive 16, it keeps going up because the direction of that number is and continues to increase. Five plus 16 is 21. So my answer there is 21. If I start with a negative five and then I add, I have a positive 16, the negative five goes down. Maybe I'll make it red. Negative five goes down. Or actually, well, yeah, anyway, that's, that's confusing. But negative five goes down, positive 16 goes back up. but it, it can't get as far past zero as it would if it started from zero went up. So it goes up uh, nine, no, 11, is it? I go back up five and I'm at zero and then I keep going, yeah, 11 more. If I have positive five combined with negative 16, I go up five, let's use this line. I haven't used it up much. I go positive five and then I go negative, 16, so I turn around and I go the other way. I'm gonna actually end up at less than zero. Remembering we're, we might be talking about like money. I have $5, I need to spend $16. Well, I'm at negative 11 there, I'm below zero. And then this last one, I have a negative five combined with a negative 16. Well, that starts at zero in the first place, goes negative five, and then goes negative 16 more. So I uh, have a total amount that is larger and still negative, and that is going to be negative 21. All right, so that's the review of the beginning of signed numbers, and we'll do some practice with that tomorrow night.